wait till Jen finds out about this. Hey, babe, how are you? Good, good. Hey, well, remember last year when I got that raise at work and I was able to go out and get that brand new truck? Well, I had all them new features. We didn't need it, but it's awesome. Well, guess what? I got another raise at work. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So now we can get that new house built I've been talking about. We don't need it. I know we don't need it, but life's short. Yeah, I already started designing it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna give us a lot more quality time together as a family. We deserve this. As a matter of fact, I'm getting it built where it has that big garage for the RV to fit in. I know we don't have an RV, but if we build it on my next raise, then I can get an RV. The boat, I'm making payments on the boat still. Matter of fact, the boat could probably go in the garage too. It's a bad idea. What, the boat in the garage? The whole thing? Like, not get a house or anything? Hey guys, now that was a fun phone call, but it got me thinking about something pretty serious when it comes to personal finance. Lifestyle inflation. You know that sneaky habit of ramping up your spending every time your income goes up. Well, stick around because I got three powerhouse tips that's gonna help you dodge that trap. It's time to turbocharge your financial game. Tip number one, channel your inner architect. Before you start spending extra money, let's lay out some blueprints. Picture this, you're building a solid foundation, not just splurging on every whim. Grab a pen, jot down your priorities. What is it you really want in life? A house, travel ventures, early retirement, all three? By getting crystal clear on what you really want, you're building a roadmap to guide your spending decisions. Tip number two, the almighty budget. Now hold on, don't skip this one. A budget isn't about caging your spending. It's your secret weapon for financial freedom. Imagine a budget as a GPS. When your income gets a boost, don't throw a housewarming party for every dollar. Allocate a chunk for your dreams. Whether it's that house you've been eyeing, crushing your debt, or providing more to your investment stash. A budget simply keeps you on course to make your dreams a reality. And tip number three, future you will thank you. The heck does that mean? Let's talk patience. I know, waiting can be tough, especially when you see everyone else going around with these big boats, RVs, flashy items, whatever it is you're laying asleep thinking about at night. But here's the deal, delaying gratification it's like planting a money tree right in your own backyard. Instead of grabbing the latest gadget every time you can afford it, hold off for just a little bit. Think about bigger wins down the road, like a down payment on a house, starting a business, or a cushy retirement. The satisfaction of achieving those beats instant gratification any day of the week. And there you have it, three tips to help you steer clear of lifestyle inflation and up your financial game. Remember, it's not about keeping up appearances. It's about securing your future and enjoying the present, well, smartly. If you like these money tips, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay in the money loop. And until next time, may God bless you. Well, can we at least get a bigger boat? She hung up on me. Huh. Maybe I need a new cell phone, but it's a bad connection.